when you get a paper cut, or nick yourself while shaving. When that occurs, a blood clot saves your life. It rapidly stops the bleeding, and it always breaks up when it's done its job. Occasionally, though, things go wrong. Blood clots can be dangerous and cause serious medical conditions when they don't fall apart. Here is more information on this issue. Keep watching this video on PARS Health TV. Deep vein thrombosis, DVT, forms when a blood clot, thrombus, shapes in one or more of the deep veins in your body, mostly in the legs. Deep vein thrombosis can lead to leg pain or swelling. Sometimes there are no apparent signs. You can get DVT if you have specific medical conditions that influence how the blood clots. A blood clot which is in the legs can also form if you don't move for a long time. For instance, you might not move a lot when traveling a long distance or on bed rest due to surgery, a disease, or an accident. Deep vein thrombosis can be severe since blood clots in the veins can break loose. The clots can travel through the bloodstream and get stuck in the body parts like the lungs, blocking blood flow, pulmonary embolism. At the time DVT and pulmonary embolism happen together, it's named venous thromboembolism VTE. You can also have them in blood vessels like any part of your body. But they are most likely to involve a leg, specifically if you sit for long periods. You might have a clot in your arteries, which carry oxygen in your bloodstream from your heart to your body's cells. The effect can be severe. It can hold oxygen from reaching your lungs, heart, or brain and lead to a life-threatening emergency, like a heart attack or stroke. You could also have a clot in the veins that carry blood back to your heart. Signs usually come on more slowly when that occurs, but it can still represent trouble. If you know the warning symptoms, you're more likely to receive the quick medical help that can make a huge distinction in keeping you out of the danger zone. But it's essential to learn that in some cases, clots can occur with few signs or none at all. Symptoms Deep vein thrombosis, DVT, signs are Leg swelling, mostly in one leg, rarely both legs. Change in skin color on the leg, like red or purple, depending on the color of your skin. Leg pain, cramping, or soreness that usually begins in the calf. A feeling of warmness on the affected leg or around the painful area. Throbbing or cramping pain in just one leg, rarely both legs, usually in your calf or thigh. Swollen veins that are hard or irritated when you touch them. These symptoms can also occur in your arm or stomach if that's where the blood clot is. Deep vein thrombosis can even happen without noticeable signs. The warning symptoms and signs of a pulmonary embolism are chest discomfort or pain that aggravates when you take a deep breath or when you cough, sudden shortness of breath, feeling lightheaded or dizzy, rapid pulse, fainting, coughing up blood, rapid breathing. Who is more likely to get DVT? A DVT is more likely to occur if you are over 60, smoke, are confined to bed, are overweight, take the contraceptive pill or HRT, have had DVT before, have varicose veins, have cancer or heart failure, are dehydrated. There are also some temporary conditions when you're at more risk of DVT. These are if you are staying in or recently left the hospital significantly if you cannot move around much, similar to condition after an operation. Go on a long journey, more than 3 to 4 hours, by plane, train, or car. Are pregnant or if you have had a baby in the last 6 weeks. Sometimes DVT can occur for no apparent reason. How DVT is diagnosed. If a doctor believes you have DVT, you should be referred to a hospital within 24 hours for an ultrasound scan. The scan indicates whether blood is flowing naturally through the vein. You may also have an X-ray of the vein, venogram. You will be injected with a dye to reveal where the blood clot is. Treatment of DVT. You may have an injection of an anticoagulant, blood thinning, medication named heparin while you're waiting for an ultrasound scan to inform you if you have a DVT. After DVT is diagnosed, the primary treatment is tablets of anticoagulant medication, like warfarin and rivaroxaban. You will likely take the pills for at least 3 months. 
If anticoagulant drugs are unsuitable, you may have a filter placed into a large vein, the vena cava, in your stomach. The filter traps and blocks a blood clot traveling to your heart or lungs. A more recent treatment is breaking up and sucking out the clot via a small tube in the vein. You usually require anticoagulant medication for several months after this treatment. DVT in pregnancy is treated very differently. It is treated with anticoagulant injections for the rest of the pregnancy until the baby is 6 weeks old. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Tips to prevent DVT Do Stay active Taking frequent walks can help Stay a healthy weight Drink plenty of fluids to avoid dehydration DVT is more possible if you're dehydrated Don't Do not cross your legs when you sit It can hinder blood flow Do not sit still for long periods Get up and move around every hour or so Do not consume lots of alcohol Do not smoke Get help to stop smoking. Home Remedies Once a DVT blood clot is diagnosed, the doctor will probably prescribe drugs to help thin the blood or break up the clot. You can mix the prescribed medicine with home treatments to prevent other difficulties and decrease the risk of future blood clots. Move more. If possible, take everyday walks to enhance blood flow. Shorter, frequent walks are more useful than one long walk. Keep your leg or arm elevated. This is particularly necessary for the legs. Blood can pool if your feet are on the floor all day. Utilize a stool or chair to hold your legs elevated and close to level with your hips. Wear compression socks. These specially developed stockings fit tightly around your feet and become slowly looser as they move up your leg to your knee. The compression allows pooling and swelling, and it improves blood flow. Most individuals don't need them, but individuals at high risk of DVT may find them helpful. Compression socks may be proper when you're traveling. Eat healthfully. Consuming a nutrient-dense and balanced diet is essential for avoiding life-threatening difficulties. A diet rich in fiber, fruits, and veggies, like the Mediterranean diet, may be perfect for individuals at risk of DVT or those who've had DVT before, but more research is required to support this. Some vitamins and minerals can hinder DVT medicines. For instance, too much vitamin K can prevent warfarin's power to thin your blood and stop a clot. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. Thanks for tuning in. Wishing you a great day.